Welcome! In front of me is a Realme GT2 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now this process will allow you to get rid of screen locks, so if you have one set that you just don't know, you can get rid of it this way. Now I'll also add that if you are also logged into a Google account, then this will make the device become FRP locked. And while you're going through the setup of the phone, once the process is finished, you'll need to verify one of the two things, either the previously used screen lock or the Google account that is signed in to it before performing the reset. So just be aware of that. I'll be making also a video on how you can bypass this if your device becomes locked. Obviously, uh, the easiest way is to verify it, but if you don't know, don't remember either of those methods, then I will, like I said, be showing you later on how you can completely get rid of it. Now, this will be in a separate video, so if you're interested, uh, just look for that. Uh, but anyway, let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna unlock the device and I'll progress from the lock screen, as though I don't know my pattern. So number one, we're gonna hold the power key. I'm gonna swipe down to power off. And once the device turns off, we're gonna hold, I believe it's a volume down. So I'll find out in a second if I'm correct. Now I think that is the wrong button because I should have already put it into it. Oh, there we go. So it was correct. So as you can see, it was power key and volume down. Now I did let go of the power button uh, once the Realme logo showed up, just because sometimes if you hold it for too long, this initiates a forced reboot of the device, so kind of defeats the purpose. So you want to also probably let go of that uh, power button, but keep holding volume down. From here, I'm going to select our language, which I selected English, and from there you want to select Format Data. It degenerates some random code right here, random number. So simply put it into keypad, it's just a confirmation. So 1143, select format. Data formatted, so let's click OK. And this will automatically reboot the device and continue the process in the background. Now the device might be turning on for like a minute, two minutes. Uh, that is because it's still continuing the factory reset of it in the background, so just give it that time, once the process is finished, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up our device however you want. Now, like I mentioned before, if your device becomes locked, I'll be showing in the next video on how we can just completely get rid of this. So stay tuned for that video, which is basically what this device is for me right now. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.